Well, what to do? It's your man, Nico B, Black Effect. And I want to get into this. You simps. You simp, mangina. Freaking knuckle draggers. You simp, coochie beggars. You simp, weak, feminized, effeminized males. Disgust me. Y'all do. I'm sorry, y'all do. Y'all discuss the brothers and really y'all are not following the most high God. Y'all don't want to. See, and that's what killed me about a lot of you simps too. Like y'all not the strong men of the earth and women know that you beta male manginas are weak and women know that they know you won't bust a grape in a fruit fight. They know that you won't, you know what I'm saying? That all you do is is your strength is to try to take the man who's correcting this woman and try to prove that you better than him. You know what I'm saying? By by basically doing what she wants you to do. Even if it's wrong, you are a fool. You are kamikaze your whole life. I mean, a real man will give his life for his family because that's his duty. That is his duty to the Lord. You understand? His duty to is to first be led by the most high. If you're not led by God, ain't no woman in her right mind should be following you. You know what I'm saying? Why should she follow you, nigga? You know what I'm saying? A man who led by God is the salt of the earth. That means he also is his own moral police. That means he's doing the things He's following God, so he's held to a certain standard. He can't do certain things. He won't do certain things. You understand? And the woman knows that. And the woman also knows that, that the Lord himself only leads to the light. Nothing that he touches comes back void. You understand? And this is a righteous man, so she knows that she, the righteous man cleanses these women. You understand? Cleanse them of their sin and their promiscuous lifestyle. You simps won't hurt. Think that you can just come in there, allow her to just be her, continue to live her promiscuous lifestyle, and you just want to be a part of it. Well, you know what? If that make you, you know, if if you fine with, with that being your lot in life, man, you know, that's fine. Do that, over, but do that over there. You know, I mean, do that far, far away from me and the productive brothers. You understand? You have men, like I said, who, who be looking for wives, Simps are so stupid. They, you got men looking for wives, but they try to pick from the same group of women, thinking that this group of women that they gonna find a unicorn out of that group of women. Man, when you got a woman in the black community who coming with her coming showing her titties, showing all of her assets, tattoos everywhere. Woman got. I would put this woman in the thumbnail. You gonna see this woman got tattoos everywhere. She's got a, she got in the picture. She don't even have no panties on. She's showing a peak, got a Pikachu tattoo there. Like, do you think that's a uniform, brother? You know what I'm saying? Do you think that woman got all that to come settle down with your simp ass? Do you think that woman done all that to come be with some beta male mangina, you know, cover and cover, cover herself up, you know, don't present herself like, like a whore. And cook for you, be cleaning for you, be catering to you, and, and care about your feelings. Do you really think that? Some and but some beta male manginas, they'll continue to run into the brick wall thinking that, well, well, maybe that there may be a diamond gonna fall out. Well, you know, I just keep running my head into this brick wall, a diamond just gonna fall out of it. Like, just illogical, man. Like, you don't you have some people like you will give niggas the game. Like the problem with these with these simps is the reason why they are enemies because you will give brothers the facts, the way the game to be able to navigate. You will give them the facts. Like you you will give them the statistics. Give them your you know the the wisdom of things that have happened in history. And but you then you will get some simp who will come into the mist and then start trying to. And, and coming with emotional, effeminate talking points to try to muddy up the waters. Like, bro, ain't nobody even talking about no single individual woman, you know, who could be the best, you know, and you're judging them by the book, by its cover. These women could be, bro, you listen to me. This is the, I use the same, the same logic for, for a black man, a young black man today 
who got tattoos all over his body, tattoos on his face, ta you know what I'm saying? Acting, showing it off, posing with guns on social media, holding them up, you know what I'm saying? And nine times out of 10, this is a thug knucklehead. Nine times out of, who needs Jesus Christ. This is nine times out of 10. This is a person who you don't want to pursue for marriage. Nine times out of 10. This is a person who not going to be able to give you a, a dissertation on, on how to, you know, invest in some crypto or, or, or some things like that. You understand? Now, there are exceptions to this rule. But who's going to be doing all of that when you could just go pick from the pool, you know, that is producing the fruit? The Lord say they're known by their fruit. I look at the fruit that's been produced. You dudes don't have discernment. Again, that's you simps. You simp man, Jinas. Man, you simps, bro. Women know y'all not worth the, you know, y'all, y'all simps need to be getting women who about, you know, and, and I'm not, I don't really try to rape people, but y'all need to get women on y'all level. You understand? Y'all not a lot of simps, like it don't matter what you look like. Don't matter what you're not going to get no Instagram models and no good bro. Just get you a woman who love you and be a simp. Nice guy to her. Go do that. That's nothing wrong with that. Like, and I mean, and I'm using nice guy in our quotes because we know that y'all only doing this because you have to. You can't you can't take a firm stance for yourself because you need to. You got to do that to get some coochie. Otherwise, you will be a virgin. You understand? And we don't have time for that, bro. Like, I, you know, I, you know, the Lord say be fruitful and multiply. Go on, on. Life too short. Get just get out of the circle of the brothers, man. Like, I really do mean that. The brothers need to start picking y'all out, which is what I do. I'm picking you niggas out, and I'm blocking y'all. Picking y'all out, blocking y'all, picking y'all out, putting y'all to the side. When we somewhere are kicking it, bro, don't come over. We don't want to talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Unless you repent, talking about that you came, you found Jesus Christ. That's it for me. Unless a dude, when I when I pinpoint y'all and the brothers pinpoint y'all, bomb and snipe y'all out and bomb on y'all. Like, snipe y'all meaning blocking y'all in the comments and all of that. Just blocking y'all from the from the from the when when the dogs is out partying doing our thing. I mean, you know, celebrating. I mean, getting together. You know what I'm saying? You're not welcome. You understand? When we out here matching up, you know, getting things back in perspective. Don't come around. I don't, cause like, bro, you never you you never helped. Like you didn't do nothing. You sat on the sideline while we was kicking flavor and, and doing our thing. And all you did was try to catch the dope, the weak stragglers and try to tell them, tell them what they want to hear. Be you're so beautiful. You you done this. You nothing you can do is wrong. Nothing. The Lord won't the Lord doesn't judge. The Lord won't ever judge you. You can do whatever you want to anyone you want. And the Lord will never say anything. I won't say anything. Bro. You know what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's dark and hell is hot, pimping. So, you know, you weak ass niggas, man. Y'all ain't never, like again, y'all ain't never been been no no help to the brothers or to the community. You haven't. You simps, a lot of y'all niggas, y'all ain't never done anything. Like I said, when, they, when the shit hit the fan, the soldiers ain't the simps. It ain't your weak manginas. Y'all all talk about these niggas talk about Poe Ray Ray and and and, it's, and a lot of niggas too, man. A lot of y'all niggas are like I'm sad. It's sad to say for a lot of you black men. A lot of y'all niggas are just broke. You know what I'm saying? Sad to say. A lot of y'all are just you know y'all really y'all are in need of sponsors. And you got you know and and that's the worst position to be in, man. You know, before you even worry about women or comment to other dudes about women, you need to be in a position, you know what I'm saying, where where, where you got your shit together, man. You know what I'm saying? Other, uh, because I'm going to just write you out from that factor alone that you shouldn't even be dealing with women. You ain't even get to the simp aspect of it. Because the whole, the whole thing, the reason why Western society is where it's at right now is because it's been led by simps who've abandoned God, period. You know, and you know, white, black, whoever, Hispanic, nigga. But we know the country by and large been directed by white men, a bunch of white simps. White simps who, you know, wife was smacking them upside the back of the head. And now we got to clean up their mess, you know. But at the same time, that's why the Lord married them and y'all going to become the new niggas. 
That's why. Because you, honestly, MGTOW, what, what you think? Y'all own people is bombing on you. MGTOW, like, man, you fuck shit up. MGTOW, you know what I'm saying? They was the one who got started the red pill. The first time I heard red pill was from a white dude. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not just our problem, bro. Sims, man. Jeez. Y'all y'all are pathetic. All right? That being said, Nico B. Black Effect. Hope y'all, you know what I'm saying, those who are sealed in Christ. Peace and blessings to y'all. Hope y'all, you know, enjoy the rest of y'all day.